Hello, in this video we're going to go over the contact form that we use on our website. We use the Fast Secure contact form, which we can see here. It's a free plugin you can find in the plugin directory under WordPress. And here's the contact page that you can see in the demo of us using it. And the only thing we've really done is did some basic styling to the fields. So if you're using this particular theme, um, the fields will be styled for you. If you want to change the look, that's something you'll have to do in the CSS on your own. Now, I'm going to show you how we use the form on our website. Um, but outside of that, if you need any support for the form, if you have any kind of questions, you'll really want to come to them directly and try to gain information that way. Um, they have FAQs, they have support forms, you know, things like this. You can come and find information here. There's probably a bunch of information on the web if you search for it. So again, we don't provide a whole lot of support for them. It's a, an open source plugin that we use on our website. Okay, so with that said, let's see how this, you know, the basic structure works and how do we get it into a page. So first thing we want to do is come down to plugins and then what you'll see is right at the bottom you'll see FS contact form. And then I'll open this up. And the first thing I want to point out is up top you'll see an FAQ section, support form, support tickets. Um, so this, you have access right away uh, to, uh, to get answers, excuse me, to answers to your questions and that kind of thing. So if you have a problem, you can go that route. Um, and basically how this works is you can create as many forms as you like and stick them on as many pages as you like. Right now in our demo, we're only using one form and it's this one right here. And that's what's showing up on this page, in the contact page. And as you make new forms, create new forms, when you open this drop-down list, you'll see each form that you've made if you, you know, if you happen to make new forms. Okay? And here's some basic information, such as who it goes to and that kind of a thing. You'd want to take care of that, of course. The fields tab for this particular form, you, you can see one, two, three, four, the name, the email, the subject, and the message. That's what we see right here, the CAPTCHA, whether you want to enable that or not, that's up to you. I recommend that. Um, you can do that under basic settings, I believe, at the bottom somewhere. Um, and if you need to edit and or add a new field, you do that over here. By add a new field, or if you're editing one of the existing ones, you do that by show details. So if I click show details, I can make it required, not required, and I can do a few other different things. Okay, um, and to add a new field, we just click this. Oops. There's our new field. We can label it, so whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just going to leave it like it is for now. And then over here in this drop down, we have the various types of you know contact uh, fields or select buttons or whatever that we can insert. So for instance, if I want to do um, text area. I can do that. I'll click show details. I can make it required if I want to, do a couple of other things. I really wouldn't mess with any of this unless you you know you really know what you're doing. Okay, so I'll make it required just for fun. Hide that. I'll save it. And then now if I update, I'll get my extra field right here, and it is required. We know it's required because this little asterisk is right here. All right, and if we want to remove a field, same thing, we'll show the details. And then here is a delete field button. Go ahead and save the changes. And that will get rid of that particular field. Now, there is the styles tab. Um, I would only use this if you really know what you're doing. You can come in here and alter the CSS so it alters the way this fields uh, the way the field looks, the way the text looks, and all that kind of stuff. If you do that, you're bypassing what we've done and what we've set up. So that's something you'd have to do completely on your on, on your own. We can't help you with that. Um, now, the next thing is how do we get this form on a, on, on, a, on a page? So for instance, how do we get this form to show up on this Contact Us page? Pretty easy. We'll go back to the form. We want to be under the Basic Settings tab. And what we'll see is the short code for it. So you'll see that right here. 
So every time you make a form or a new one, this is going to update. So this is the first one. If you make another one, this will probably have a two right here, and so forth and so forth. So the only thing you need to do is copy and paste this short code into your page. So for instance, this contact us page, I inserted I inserted that short code and we can see that right here. You can see it right here, the SI contact form. And that's how that shows up on a page. Okay, I hope that helps.